I'm Steve Rue, and I lead the enterprise product team for Microsoft Edge. One of the things I enjoy most about my job is finding uh, new ways and new capabilities for IT to set up the users and their organization to be the most productive as they can be while using Microsoft Edge. I'm excited to announce today that we've been working with the Intune team to bring app configuration to Microsoft Edge. And so up to 50% of companies' workforces may shift permanently to remote work according to a Forrester uh, study. And with that, that means that mobile work and the mobile workforce just keeps growing and it's not expected to slow down anytime soon. In these scenarios, we're aware that many times your users want to use their own devices, whether it's their own personal laptop, their own personal desktop, or they happen to be over with friends and family and they just want to pop on their machine there to do some quick work. And when they do that, you want to make sure that they are as productive as they can be and have the experiences and access to the resources that they need uh, for, their, for the job. And with today's options with MDM and GPO, that's not always possible because you have to manage the entire device. And so I want to give some background on what App Config for Microsoft Edge is, set up for App Config for Microsoft Edge and Intune, and then provide some additional resources to watch after this talk. And so taking a step back and going into what app configuration for Microsoft Edge entails, it's a way for IT to control the experience that the user has when they're browsing using their work account attached to a profile in Microsoft Edge without impacting the rest of their browsing experiences, and more importantly, without impacting their device in any way. Like I had hinted at earlier, your options for doing this today are really around GPO and MDM settings which do require the user to enroll their device, which isn't really practical if they're at their friend's house. And more so, many people don't want to enroll their own personal device with their uh, organization if they don't need to. And so the benefit of IWs is they get the experiences and access to the things they'd expect to have with their work accounts. However, they don't need to hand over control of their entire device to IT, which will limit the burden on help desk and whatnot when their issues do arise on the device, um, which are oftentimes attributed to the management of the device, um, whether that was the reason for the issues the, the user's having or not. How to configure this is going to be through the Intune portal, and it's very similar to if you're familiar to setting the MDM policies, where you choose which settings you want to apply to the device and the values of those settings, and then more importantly, which users the settings should apply to. Then, as a user, the next time I use my profile attached to my work account in Microsoft Edge, the settings are automatically applied, and I have the experience that I'm used to when I'm on my work device, regardless of what device I'm using. And so this will make more sense by jumping into some demos. And so let's walk through what the configuration experience looks like and what the IW experience after the configurations take place looks like. The first thing that I need to do is actually configure the settings that I want to apply to the user organization, and then also define which users from my organization the settings should apply to. And so to do this, I will navigate to the Intune portal. And from the Intune portal, I will go to Apps. And from Apps, I'll choose App Configuration Policies. And on this screen, from the Add dropdown, I will choose Managed Apps. Now I'm on the basics screen for the configuration, and so I will give the settings I'm about to configure a name. I will just name it Edge ACP for this demo, and then I need to choose which application I actually want to configure. And so to do that, I will choose Select Public Apps, and in the pop-up in the search box there, I will search for Edge. And you will see that there's a handful of options there, and I will choose Microsoft Edge for Windows for this demo, and then I will choose Select, and then I will choose Next, which will take me to the Settings screen. On the Settings screen, there's a couple of panels here, so let's expand the Edge Windows Configuration Settings panel first to see what my options are. You'll notice that there are a handful of settings here that I can configure for my organization. Um, we're actively working on this feature, and so by the time we GA, there will be a much healthier, much fuller list, uh, more accustomed to what you're familiar with in the ADMX files and the MDM settings that we provide today. But what's work that we have so far, so I can show you the experience here, and we will configure the, the homepage to be our Fabricom site. Um, we will add the Fabricom site to our managed favorites. And then because one of the pages we're going to demo does include Silverlight, we will configure IE mode by setting the integration level to Internet Explorer mode and a path to the integration list, and then we'll choose Next. 
The next thing that I need to do is actually choose which set of users these settings should apply to in my organization. So to do this, I will first select the select groups to include option. And then I do have a user group that has already been defined. So once that populates here, I will select it. It is Win Edge users. And so now I've selected that group. I will select it at the bottom and choose next. And now I have an option to review the settings that I have just configured make sure everything looks good and everything here looks like what I expected it to be. So I will click create. And now Intune is doing its magic to uh, have all these configurations set in the cloud such that the next time one of my users is defined in the user group logs into a profile with that account, the settings I just applied uh, will be available uh, on, on that profile of Microsoft Edge for them without me ever needing them to actually enroll their device for me to manage. So now let's hop over to see what this looks like for an end user. And so before I, I jump into this part of the demo, I did want to share, I did add a handful of app protection policies in that I configured that wasn't shown in the Intune portion of the demo. Um, this capability will be coming uh, much later than the, the app configuration work um, that I'm showing. But I did want to use this as an opportunity to show you where we're thinking, the direction we're heading with, uh, with this space and how investments for the app configuration today could easily accrue up to also including the app protection scenarios in the future. And so let's walk through this. The first thing, let's launch the browser. So let's click on Microsoft Edge on my desktop. This is my home PC because I'm working from home and my organization is not managing the device as they would be likely if they had owned and purchased the device. As you can see here, um, this is my personal account in Edge. It has my my personal favorites. And over there, you can see Brad's personal profile. And so I do want to check my work email because there's an important project going on that I want an update on. And so normally I just go to the outlook.com. I type in my work username and its associated password, and it would just work. But you'll notice that I'm confronted with a, a blocker here saying, I can't access this content, and to do so, I need to log into Edge using um, in a, to a profile using my work account. And so, let's try this and see what happens. So I'll go up to um, manage my profiles. I will click on a different one, so I don't want to lose my personal profile. It open a new window, and from here, I will sign in with my work account to associate that with this profile. This is already stored in the Windows Account Manager, so I will just select it from that dialog. And now I'm logged in to a new profile with my work account. So let's try checking email again and see if it works this time. So let's go back to Outlook. And this time you'll notice it works seamlessly using SSO. I didn't even get prompted for my user account password because it's already taken care of through the profile. And I'm in my email. Now let's take a second and take a look at, I did configure other settings when I was in Intune earlier about the homepage and favorites and IE mode. Did those take effect as well? Well, let's take a look. So if I open a new tab so I don't lose my email, and I try to go home, you'll see I'm navigated to the Fabricom site. Awesome, that one worked. So now let's look at the favorites. There's now a folder there called Corporate Managed Favorites, and there they are. So now let's go to the, the visit site, and that is a Silverlight control, and even though I did never configured IE mode on this machine before myself, um, it did just work. And you can see it has the IE logo in the toolbar there, the silver light controls just working. So everything got configured just through the settings for this profile and they only applied this profile. None of this will, will exist in that other window. That's open there, so that's my personal account. So let's go back to that email and continue on with that scenario. It looks super interesting because it has confidential couple of letters and those are always fun emails. And in this one, there's actually, and also here, where I'm told in nice bold letters, specifically, don't share this broadly until advised to do so. And it looks like there's a, an ETA of when this widget 2.0 is going to, to GA. And, well, I can write my own rules, right? I do what I want. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to share it with just my close personal friends, effectively everyone I know on Twitter. And so I go back to my personal account in that window, and I go to Twitter, and I try to paste that content in. And you'll notice that I'm blocked again from achieving this by my organization. And so not only did the settings for the, the profile apply to what profile do I need to be part of to access the content, it also controls um, in what scenarios I can copy content from that context and paste it into other places, in this case, taking work content and trying to 
paste it into Twitter, you'll notice I was blocked. And so I hope this gives a, a good overview of the direction that we are heading for uh, giving options for managing the Edge browser without actually needing to manage the device itself for both configuration and protection scenarios. So for some next steps, I encourage you to keep an eye out on the MS Edge dev Twitter handle and our release notes for when this feature and capabilities make its way to both preview and general availability. I hope you found this information on application configuration for Microsoft Edge useful, and I'm looking forward to your feedback once you're able to experience it yourselves. Please continue to let us know how we can make you and your users more productive while using Microsoft Edge, and thank you for your time.